Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Tyler Nash, and uh, my wife Anna and I have launched uh, Innova Coffee, uh, the first of this uh, year, uh, about uh, six weeks ago. And uh, so the purpose of this part of our website, whether it's uh, what we write or uh, today, what uh, what I'm sharing with you by video, is just to give you a behind the scenes of um, what's happening and maybe even more so what we're thinking and feeling uh, there are countless of you that are helping us with really untold gifts and um, we just uh, we're grateful for that and just feel a sense of you coming around us uh, for uh, this launch and so thank you uh, personally for that um, I'm about to go on a conference call with uh, two friends that really uh, have passion for our food menu and helping us develop that um, and so you know wow <laughs> couldn't ask uh, for anything more than uh, somebody who really knows an area and loves it uh, to help us develop something that uh, we think will serve people uh, really well. One of the things that's on my mind uh, is uh, this story and this phrase uh, that some of you may be familiar with. It's called uh, burning the boats. Uh, and there's some question as to whether it's true or not. I, I think it is, but there is more than one person in history that um, used that strategy but the one I read a little bit about was um, the uh, explorer and uh, conquistador uh, Cortez uh, he took a um, I guess a small army really of about 600 men into Mexico uh, the Yucatan Peninsula area um, to conquer and colonize the area and he did two things that I again according to history that are really um, noteworthy in my mind and that I really resonate with first of all uh, the task before him was seemed insurmountable uh, based on what they knew I don't know the numbers uh, of of the army that they faced uh, but uh, again the the belief was what they were facing was insurmountable so when they landed he spent some time I don't know some weeks maybe um, where he would uh, give speeches to his men he did not land and immediately send them in to battle uh, what he was doing is, and, and what I read, it said, stirring their souls. Now, this was more than a battle. At least he was trying to create that in their minds. He was stirring something deep within them to go for, to fight for. Uh, and I think that's just critical in life. Um, to have that drive from your soul uh, if you know my story and if you don't it's not really that important but maybe five or ten years ago uh, I had the money to do what we're trying to do right now uh, we could have built a shop and I think my desire would have been to wow people with what we built the equipment we had uh, it would have been a real attempt to impress people by, you know, what, what we created. Um, but there was no passion or vision. Uh, and <laughs> now, again, if you know my story, we don't have money. Uh, um, but we do have vision and passion. And I tell you, being on both sides of that, I'd much rather be where we are now 
it is drive, it is motivation, it is um, sort of a, an inner scrappiness to fight and claw for things, uh, to reach out and help uh, in, in looking for help, searching for help. Uh, and <clears throat> so that, that really resonated with me, um, that the part of uh, Cortez's story where he really incited the men from, from deep down in their souls. The second thing that he did, uh, and again, you might have heard this term or know the story. There are different motivational speakers that use it, but uh, he burned their boats, uh, their only means of leaving uh, the, the um, Mexican border. Uh, he, he destroyed that. He burned the boats to, to tell them only what's before you is a possibility. You can't look back. There is no possibility of retreat. Um, and I really feel like that is how we've been set up um, in a lot of ways. And I feel that, you know, truly God set in motion some things back in, uh, late fall and winter that burned my boats. Um, I would have sat on these ideas uh, for months, maybe forever, uh, talking about them, thinking about them, um, but, uh, but never acting on them. And through a series of events, we sensed that God was pushing us into this uh, in a very gracious and um, a loving way so that we couldn't turn back. One of the ways he's done that is by bringing so many people around us that have given so much of their time, their talent, uh, even you know monetarily buying uh, merchandise for us, just countless things that people have done and when people are stepping out like that on your behalf, <laughs> it sets up a scenario, not that, uh, you, you, you couldn't turn back, but, but with all that that's been done for you, you really just don't want to do that. Um, so much has been given on your behalf. Uh, and so that's where we find ourselves. Um, we're six weeks in, uh, we're still having uh, home gatherings. Um, this past Saturday, a sweet friend of ours uh, hosted one in Cabo Heights. We had over 60 people uh, come and hear our story and and um, and uh, taste our coffee. Uh, and so, just continue to have a lot of interest, and we're grateful for that. Um, we have uh, three opportunities every week, as of now. Uh, where we uh, pop up a uh, shop in someone else's business and uh, sell coffee. Um, and so these are just um, sort of glimpses of things that are to come. The way we do our coffee, the craft of it, the sort of the, the uh, preciseness of it um, is um, sort of telltale of what, how we want to do everything. Uh, the way we're developing our food menu, as I mentioned. Um, we want to be very intentional about what we're serving you, uh, about the ingredients, about uh, how we do it in-house, or if we don't, or, or whatever we source, our ingredients, or even, even um, particular products, that, that we're very particular about it, because it matters. You want to be uh, serving something that um, you are so confident about uh, I mentioned this in a post a few weeks back passion for people breeds passion for product and, and that's really the drive and it's not something we're struggling uh, to conjure up it's there and so it's really fun to find 
um, like we have our coffee through uh, seeds um, and, and other things uh, to find uh, products that will offer uh, that really match our passion to serve people. So um, that's really what's on my mind today. I hope that makes sense. Um, don't know where you are in life. Uh, I've lived a lot of life uh, without passion, uh, but trying to look like I did have it. And uh, it's no fun. It's a real burden. And I, if you're in that place, I just hope that you find freedom enough to admit that and uh, take a deep look within. Um, God's grace is what enabled me to do that, uh, to look deep in my heart and um, sort of face so many areas uh, where I was putting on an act and not living out of passion. And I still struggle with that. I'm not beyond that. But I hope uh, you can find that if you haven't. Um, and uh, if there's opportunity, we'd love to visit with you about that. Uh, our venture uh, really is about a much bigger picture than uh, a cup of coffee or um, something we might serve you to eat. Thanks again uh, for all your support.